Hi students, today we will discuss general torque equation of moving iron instruments. In order to find out the torque equation, we are using this equation. Electrical energy supplied is equal to energy stored plus mechanical work done. To work any instrument, we have to supply some electrical energy. A part of this electrical energy is stored and the remaining energy will be converted into mechanical energy to produce a deflection. So first we have to find out electrical energy supplied, energy stored and then mechanical work done. First we have to find out electrical energy supplied. Let theta be the deflection of the pointer corresponding to a current of i amperes at time t seconds. Let the current is increased by di at time dt. The corresponding deflection is d theta. Also, there is a change in inductance value l since the position of the moving iron changes with respect to electromagnets. Therefore, the inductance changes from L to DL. Due to the change in current and inductance value, an EMF is induced in the coil. The EMF induced E is equal to D by dt of L into I. Apply product rule, we get L into di by dt plus I into dl by dt. Equation number 1. Then multiply this equation by I into dt. So, E into I into dt is equal to L into di by dt into I into dt plus I dl by dt into I dt which is equal to dt dt cancelled L I into di plus I square into dl. We know that E into I is power. Power into time is energy. Therefore, the energy supplied is equal to Electrical energy supplied is equal to Li di plus I square into dl. Equation number A. Next we have to find out the energy stored. So due to the change in current and inductance value, there is a change in energy stored. Therefore, change in energy stored is equal to final energy minus initial energy stored. We know that the initial energy stored is half Li square. Because initially the value of inductance is L and current is I. So initial energy stored is half L I square. And final energy stored is half into inductance changes from L to DL. Therefore L plus DL into I plus DI the whole square. So this one is the final energy stored due to I plus DI 
and this one is the initial energy stored due to I. So which is equal to half L plus D L. Expand this one A plus B the whole square which is equal to I square plus D I the whole square plus 2i di minus half li square. So di square is very very small. So we can neglect this term. So which is equal to half l plus dl into i square plus 2i di minus half li square which is equal to half into l into i square plus 2i di into l plus i square dl plus 2 i into di dl minus li square. This li square, li square cancelled. di into dl. We can neglect this term because di into dl is very small value. Which is equal to half into 2 i l d i plus i square d l which is equal to l i d i plus half i square d l equation number b. So this one is the energy stored. Next we have to find out the mechanical work done to produce a deflection. Mechanical work done to move the pointer by d theta is Td deflecting torque Td into d theta. Equation C. Then substitute A B C in this first equation we get instead of electrical energy supplied we can write this one L I D I plus I square D L is equal to instead of energy stored we can write this equation L I D I plus half I square D L plus instead of mechanical work done T D into D theta. This one, this one cancelled. I square D L minus half I square D L is half I square D L. So half I square D L is equal to T D into D theta. Therefore, the deflecting torque T D is equal to half I square D L D, D L by D theta. Deflecting torque T D is equal to half I square D L by D theta. And we know that at steady state position Td is equal to Tc. Therefore, half I square dl d theta is equal to a constant k into theta. Therefore, theta is equal to 1 by 2k I square dl by d theta. 
from this equation it is clear that the deflection theta is proportional to i square means moving iron instruments have non uniform scale and also here theta is proportional to the square of rms value of operating current therefore deflecting torque is unidirectional means it acts in same direction whatever may be the polarity of current thank you